one card on the bottom. And we're ready to go, it seems. All right, Polluted Delta pass. We have some Jake fans in the chat. Ah, yes, thanks. I should update the overlay. This is the finals. Thossi is on the stack. Thank you, Specchio, for that. Hand is revealed. Troll of Kazadun, Double Bowmaster, Wasteland, and Underground Sea. And yes, Jake will lose two life. Bowmaster is gone. Yes, the scam list is in the deck list channel of our Discord. All the top eight lists are in the Discord. And I'm going to post a few more lists from this event when I get a chance. Swamp cycle. Swamp cycling chat. Where's that on the storm scale? Does anybody know? Feels a little iffy to me. All right, wastes the only land in play, but a follow-up volcanic island into ponder. A beautiful ponder. Esper scam, worth a try. You know, I, I get a lot of questions like in the Discord and just see discussion in, in the Magic community at large. Like, I'm thinking about thinking about building a deck. Does anybody think it would be good? I mean, let's assume for a moment you already have the cards for the deck. Take it for a spin. Like, if you think Blue Black Scam with Samwise, as, as Damon just pointed out in the chat, could be good, try it. Can't hurt. Play some practice games or um, sign up for a local. Same goes for other formats like Modern Pioneer or whatever. Just try it. If it sucks... It sucks. Whatever. At least then you know it sucks. All right. The brainstorm puts two cards on top. A fetch lane is available. I believe that's a flooded strand. Oh, no, that's a polluted delta. All right, waste on volcanic. Let's see if Grixis wants to change the top of the deck, and we're going to fetch now. Yeah, I don't have the expeditions memorized, you yeah. know. Especially <laughs> me on the mulling and on the play. Did you ever turn? Yeah. Right, but this goes on the staff. And I have to declare a target, right? Uh, but I got to look now. Yeah, there will be other characters. Yeah. There will be plenty more. Yeah. I guess not like, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I'm glad I took so the I thing to play. Yeah. Uh, I, can, I, can, I, can, yeah. I told you I memorized all the cards. When did I say that? Prove it. You can't prove it. All right, here's a ponder for Grixis. Bowmaster in response. It seems like it's resolving because we've already ticked down the life total. And we're going to see an orc army. And then a ponder will ping Jake again, technically after this ponder completes. Yeah. 
Another thought sees force of will is discarded. Uh, last two remaining cards in hand were an underground sea and a mystic sanctuary. So a 2 2 arc army and a bow master to uh, attack potentially this turn. Here's a ponder with Jake tapped out. Is it important to have is it important to memorize all the versions? No. Despite what Magic Reddit and Magic Twitter tell you, it is not important at all. All right, here's Merktide Regents, and that could uh, be a problem. Looks like it's going to be full-size 8-8. Eight eight. Have I ever thought of doing an offshoot to truly re represent 90s TCGs focusing on Legend of the Five Rings? You know, actually, when I first started this channel, I thought it was going to be focused on 90s TCGs. This is not a joke. This is for real. Uh, I started with Legacy Magic and Cube and Vintage and some other... Oh, Pre-Modern, some other stuff. Throwback Magic. Uh, but the shift to other card games just never really happened and never really had an opening. And now that this channel has grown as large as it has compared to when it started... I just don't see any reason to add other card games to the mix, especially when the audience for those things are pretty small. The Cypher Star Wars CCG, I loved that game. I loved that game. I still have my cards somewhere. I have two sealed Premier starter decks in a, in a box behind me over here for someday cracking and playing some games. So an 8-8 eight, eight Merktide facing off against a 5-5 five, five Merktide, 2-2 two, two Orc Army, Bowmaster, and now a DRC getting cast. Bobble Surveil. Like, 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 <coughs> Dragon's Rage Channeler into the graveyard. There's still a scene for Decipher Star Wars, too. They're still making like fan sets and stuff for all the new shows like Mandalorian and whatever. It's interesting. All right, Jake cracks that flooded strand. Utini. <laughs> yeah, that card. I remember that card being kind of annoying. Bowmaster, charge Bolting Bowmaster, surveil. Underground sea into the graveyard. The uh, graveyard is unfortunately a little bit cut off here. Mesher's bobble revealed something. I didn't quite see what that was. It ain't Murktai's hanging back on defense, maybe? I think Jake has delirium. I see Crincher instant land artifact. Yeah. Ponder on top. Is uh, apparently the case. Looks like chat was right. There's a ponder.
Yeah, some long-time collectors, it looks like, on both sides of the table. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a ponder shuffle. Looking for a way to meet this, to beat this Merktide. I guess both players are thinking that, right? Looking for a way to beat this Merktide. They both need a way to beat one. A second Merc Tide for either player could be a difference maker as well, since the first grows. At this moment, Joe kind of needs the Merc Tides to grow more than Jake does. <laughs> Fatal push on Dragon's Rage Channeler now. So Jake's single blocker at nine life. No threat of bolt from the blue black deck. Five five Murktai, two two orc army. Obviously adds up to seven. No, yeah, I totally understand. Four six seven though. It's a force pitching Delver on fatal push. I can also apologize. It's very generous. It is. Thank you. Uh, They're ruining our lives. Okay. So, helping out the opponent a bit here, reminding him of a surveil trigger brainstorm thrown into the trash. What model is this? It's old. Can I buy my old one? No. A six. All right. So, with. Okay, with Delirium, Unholy Heat ends the game by removing Murktide. That is game one going to Grixis. All right, so uh, Delvero's Secrets gets dazed. That you have no other game actions in which I'm going to use the mana and the cycle of troll. You seem correct. Okay, cool. And I can't Swamp cycling troll of Kazadoom finding a second copy of Underground Sea. And, uh. Yeah. Let's waste your volcanic. Yeah. Waste both players and no lands on the battlefield. Missing a land drop. Ouch. Oh, what happened here? Okay, so accidentally revealing a blue elemental blast and then ponder. After, like, I'm only here for the game. Like, no offense to you, but like, I can't be in like 48 billion. Okay, Mr. Rainforest getting cracked now. Volcanic Island. So is your first one free? All right, there's a nice ponder. Bowmaster in response gets dazed. That was a daze, the card that just got placed in the graveyard, Amonkhet Invocation Edition. I don't need to learn, I'm just going to ignore it. Bowmaster countered, Ponder successfully resolves. Good way to protect Joe's, uh, Jake's precious land. Replays it though. Yeah. 
There's a wasteland. Doesn't use it though. Okay, now using it on upkeep. Yeah. Just uh, not the top of the Okay. I don't know if they were in the same order or not. I'm like, I shouldn't know anything about that. Yeah. 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 I just hit, putting this in my graveyard, I just hit these three off the top of my deck. We don't have them. Okay, is that the order of the spell? Like, I, I don't just know. Just shuffle your deck. Do you know, you know the order of anything No, because I've drawn both of my cards from my just shuffle your deck. Okay. Okay, the judge rules to just shuffle the deck. Uh, as far as I can remember, no cards were known to be in any order. So a brainstorm in response to uh, Wasteland. Brainstorm is fine. There's still a wasteland activation on the stack. What happened here? It's almost like I won't curve back. Curve back. Just the three years. Good. All right. Scalding tarn pass. So Jake quickly recovered from getting uh, their last land wasted off the board and then missing a land drop that could have gotten ugly. Grief pitching plague engineer. Two dazes. Orcish bowmasters. Arc Ted region. Lightning bolt. Red elemental blast. Underground Hmm. Double daze, bowmaster, murktide, bolt, red blast. Grief is going to choose one. And an underground sea. I can't remember if I said that or not. We're going to take your Merktide region. Okay, going for Merktide, which tells me Joe wouldn't have a way to remove it, I guess. Um, that's, a, that's not a bad hand for Jake. Reanimating troll, I believe, is just pointed out here. Okay, troll of Kazadoom will enter now. I'll fetch my feet. go to that. Yep. Storm. Dragon's Rage Channeler. It's going to have a hard time racing the troll. Troll of Kazadoom needs to be blocked by three creatures. Kind of hard to chump. Attack for six. Two more hits, and it's over. All right, there's the blue blast we knew about. DRC is gone. Just kind of was accidentally flashed on screen earlier. Alright, right, attack for six. Down to six. Needs to remove this troll now. Going down to five. 
Could just be a thin the deck play here. Needs to find removal now. This is the finals. Bowmasters. Could force a cantrip in response like Brainstorm. This is the real show. All right, that is the game. We're going to game three. I'm going to keep my stuff. Okay. You too? Panic. Here's a Delver. All right, Dragon's Rage Channeler comes in. There is a poll live for the gamblers in the chat. Dragon's Channeler and Delver. So far, no plays from Scam here in game three. All right, Force of Will pitching Ponder, turns out. Fetch and response. And a Pyroblast. All right, we're aggressively protecting Dragon's Rage Channeler. Wow, quite a fight over Dragon's Rage Channeler. A uh, Daze ends the fight with Dragon's Rage Channeler in the trash. And maybe some tempo happened, chat. What do you think about the tempo aspect of everything going on? Is that exciting? Swamp cycling. All right, Daze revealed on top. Delver flips and attacks for three. Um, yeah, the half flip. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I don't really have control over this stuff. How do you know when a tempo happens? Yeah, I, you know what? I have no idea. I have no idea. It just it just happens, you know? Sometimes you just play in the game and you feel like, I, I got a tempo. You know? You feel it in your soul. You make a play and you think to yourself, like, that, that felt like tempo right there. And that's when you know. All right, here's a brainstorm. What does tempo feel like, Chad? Do you know what it feels like? Can anybody describe it to us? Okay, some people are rooting for scam. And step brainstorm into swamp cycle. Kind of a new thing you see in these current iterations of blue black X tempo. Also in the uh, Lorian revealed control decks. You'll see end step brainstorm into island cycle as well. But how can I explain, like, to the, to the barista at my local coffee shop what tempo is? 
Mound says, I would say tempo is how the game pace feels, like who's ahead and whatnot. Yeah, maybe I'll just say that. Chew five gum. Not sponsored. Here's Ponder. Tempo's a vibe, right, Chad? It's just a vibe. Like you're playing and you're like, I'm I'm getting I'm getting tempo vibes from the opponent's deck. Feels tempo y. Yep. All right, a daze on the ponder. Ponder into ponder without a shuffle in between. Second win gets dazed. This is interesting. <laughs> All right, so therapists are, are therapists can't give prescriptions, right? I think that story is I think that story is a lie. All right, here's Red Blast on Merktide. Merktide down. Okay, Merktide down. And now a brainstorm with no Bowmaster mana open. Not even a Bowmaster can stop me on brainstorming. <laughs> Is there tempo in CEDH? Does anybody know? And does anybody give a damn? There's a Delver. Good read that there's no dazes available. Plague Engineer. That could be a way to remove Delver. It's getting dazed. Paying for days. And a second daze. We, I think... I think we still knew about the two dazes in hand. I, th I think there were never any used before that point. So uh, there it goes. They're fired off. All right. Bolt with insect elaboration sticking out of the card about 10%. Here's Merc Tide for Jacob. No, this has been my main deck. It's a two for one tempo, Chad? Do, do the YouTube commenters know? I don't know. If I two for one, do I have tempo? So, 8-8 eight, eight, Merktide and a 3-2 Insectile Aberration. Brainstorm here. This could be a critical turn. Lethal power on the other side. There's a bolt. Crinky Doom says Delver's still the best deck in the format. I don't know, Crinky. That's not what my spreadsheet says. Everybody check your spreadsheets, please, and report to us. Just 
still thinking about this brainstorm. The board is looking very much favored for Jake right now. I don't know what Joe can have that results in a in a win here, but push snuff out something like that. Okay, so uh reanimate happening. Dragon's race channeler. Creature instant? Sorcery. Creature instant sorcery. No delirium. That gets a handshake. That is the game. That is the match. Congrats to Jake. Takes it down. The champion of this month's event.